Okay. So, Dr. Miranoff, we are now wrapping up the first international conference on bioprinting and bi biofabrication. What is your reaction to the conference so far? My reaction to this conference is very positive. I'm not completely agree it's the first one. We have already several. But as compared with the previous one, I see dramatical progress. More people, more countries, more different technologies, more young faces. So it became exciting and more amazing. Thank you. Could you explain just for our listeners what organ printing slash bioprinting is? We define organ printing as a biomedical application of rapid prototyping, which is basically a robotic, computer-aided, layer-by-layer uh, biofabrication. Of course, the long-term goal is to build a functional tissue or organ construct and short-term some kind of small assays for drug discovery, for modern disease, and so on. So there you mentioned robot, robotic usage, and exactly in your work, you were working specifically on the kidney and with using robotic uh, biofabrication. Could you elaborate a little bit on the reasons why you have chosen this particular route? Very easy, because uh, you know the shortage of organs for transplantation has became an urgent critical problem. 70,000 people waiting in line for organs and they die, and uh, the longer they wait, the worse outcome. So there is a very clear demand for such organs. Second is very challenging problem. Imagine if you can print organ, that's actually a demonstration of power of medicine. And I like uh, one phrase which people say, until we could not assemble, we don't understand the things. So if you know anatomy of kidney, that's not enough, but if you can assemble kidney, then you understand it completely. So there's a lot of challenges, practical, scientific, engineering, and that's what makes all this story exciting. And I also like kidney because it's the most beautiful, most complicated organ. What are some of the problems that you have encountered in this process? In America, usually the main problem when you ask is not enough money. Right. <laughs> but I think the uh, field is booming and growing very fast. And if you really want to develop something, you must have multidisciplinary team. You must have a specialist with different background. And they must be uh, not just uh, short-term using of this as particular specialist. It must be team which evolve. So the stable funding for a long time is, I think, the key for success. And could you give us an idea of some of the projects that you are working on right now? I'm a biologist, so I left people like you <laughs> to figure out how to create mechanical engineering part of this. But from a biological point of view, I think vascularization is problem number one. It's not enough just to create capillary, you must create whole intra-organ branching vascular tree. Otherwise, whatever you print will die immediately. And the second problem, if you want to do something which is uh, useful for clinical implantation, then you must fit to FDA criteria, and I'm talking about mechanical properties. So, if you create an organ which you couldn't implant surgically, if mechanical property is not sufficient, then it's not implantable. So, my second focus is, of course, what we call accelerated tissue maturation. Why accelerated? Because the longer you keep uh, tissue constructed by a reactor, the higher the cost. So if you find a way to force cells to produce matrix, accessory matrix, faster, then you save a lot of money. And following the same line of, of thought, where do you see your lab in five years? We got 34 million NSF grant. So in five years, we must have more people, more equipment, and more publications. So after five years, I think, I'm not sure that we can print organ, but at least uh, small blocks, and especially vascular tree, will be done. I think we found it what we call magical motorogenic cocktail, which is a combination of growth factors which allow cells to produce matrix, will be also done. And uh, some kind of small block, in case of kidney, probably in the front, we can design and demonstrate it functionally. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Mirinov.